Okay, I'm going to walk you through creating a composite from the images that I've given you there on Blackboard. Um, there are lots of ways you can do this. This is just one. There are various ways to make selection of images to merge them together. Uh, but this is just one that I've found is fairly easy. So uh, first thing you're going to need to do is, is click these little things and you know download each of these three images. I can get that there. There we are. And then uh, those download. I'm on a Windows machine, just so you know, not a Mac. Uh, those download to my download folder. You can, a lot of time, Mac does the same thing. Sometimes it does to your desktop, depending on where you have it set. Just be sure you know where to find these images. Again, mine are in the download folder, so uh, that's all I need so i'm gonna go ahead and open up photoshop and again i am on windows and a couple of things uh most things look the same i am on just so you know let's look at about photoshop i am on release 25.9.1 so if yours is newer or older some little things might change but uh the other thing to do is no matter what you're on to go up to window workspace essentials default is what i use and if you want yours to look a lot like mine uh, then obviously do that okay if we look back here uh, it tells that the the document is going to be five and a half by seven inches at 300 pixels per inch so all we do is begin a new file at five and a half five oops 5.5 by 7, oh, and I should be in inches, so i set the inches first, <laughs> and you won't have to retype this, 5.5 by 7, and we want it at 300 pixels per inch, because we're going to make this large, so we can work on it and get the good detail, and then we'll save it down smaller, uh, as we see here, it'll say, flatten it and resize it to 800 pixels wide just so it'll be a small file for you to upload all right so five and a half by seven at 300 pixels per inch remember inches and we're going to create that it's just a white background we're going to composite all these images onto this so the very first one we're going to place an embedded image of winter blur again there are two places you can place embedded or place linked we're going to place it as an embedded file which means it becomes part of this um, and then so that's the background next we're going to put in the uh, let's see open sorry i need to get off of this i need to open the bottles bottles will be next now i could have placed it and done some things in here but i'm just going to show you the way that i would do it okay so here uh is a separate image of the bottles uh, if we click this little unlock it'll make it just a standard layer not a background then we go to properties uh, if if any of these things layers or properties aren't showing you can always go up to window and find them properties layers they're all here okay so under the properties we have some quick actions and one of those is just remove background so if we click it it takes away the white there are other ways to do this uh, as you can see it kind of masks away all the white we can we can do it various ways we could use the uh, quick selection tool we could do the magic wand tool all kinds of things, but this is just a very easy way to do it. Then with your move tool selected, just click the uh, bottles and I'm going to copy them. So edit, copy, and then I'm going to go back to my document and I'm going to do edit, paste. And there we have bottles with no white background. Now, in Photoshop, if you grab the corner to resize, you don't have to hold shift or anything. It automatically constrains the proportions. I'm just going to put this kind of in the middle 
of the document and uh, then I'm going to click the check mark and commit that to it. So now we've got a, uh, a layer with the bottles, we've got a layer with the blur, and then we've got the background white layer. All right. Uh, one thing I would like to set apart this from the background. So I'm going to put on a an outer glow behind those bottles. See how it, it uh, puts a little shine behind them. Now you can uh, adjust that however you want it. I want mine about 40%. Uh, I'm going to make the spread probably about 20. I'll do that. And I'll make the size a little bit smaller. I don't want it quite that big. So then I'll just commit it by saying OK. So you can see that off and on if you just click a little visibility icon there. It looks like an eyeball. OK. Now we're also going to need to put some text. Uh, if you look back at the thing, it says, you know, which Great Lakes seasonal are you? We don't have to use any specific typeface. I'm just going to type here. I'm going to use Arial Bold and I'm going to use a little bit smaller. Let's do 30 points. So uh, I'm going to do all caps. Which Great Lakes? And then I'm going to return seasonal are you question mark all right that still looks probably a little bit big so i'm gonna connect grab my type tool again highlight it and say let's go down to about 24 that works for me it doesn't have to be all caps you can do it all caps if you want uh and if you if you look I probably would, instead of doing this left align, even though it worked out pretty good, I'll just center those. That way, the lines of type are centered with each other. Then I'm going to put it on here. Okay. And then the final part of the composite is the logo. So I'm going to place... the Great Lakes logo. It's pretty large, so I'm going to, again, drag it small, put it down here at the bottom. And then <clears throat> I want you to use, on this layer, a uh, layer style. Okay, if you click up here, you can kind of see as we go through these how it changes things. Like here, it just shows the dark portions. Here, it will show, like, just the light portions. Uh, we're going to do either lighten or screen, probably lighten, maybe lighter dodge or lighter color, lighten, lighter color. I kind of like lighter color. Uh, keeps the yellow real yellowish looking. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, the, the, that, that just makes it easier to see, you know, um, if we, if we don't have that effect on it it uh, looks just a little bit different so uh, you can you can try all these you know to see what oops I'm on the wrong one let's do it on the actual logo so you can try all these and if you if you like one better than the other if you like this and then use it but uh, I'm gonna use lighter color all right now uh, an interesting thing with the way that you place embedded as you can see there's a little icon in the corner of the thumbnail on the layer these are smart objects that's what that tells us and smart objects are able to be um, edited without affecting well without affecting if you don't save it the underlying image okay so if i if i double click here It'll open this image in its own panel. Okay, so it, it opens it separate from everything else. Because what I'd like to do, I'm going to take Winter Blur here. I'm going to turn off its <coughs> lock icon and go to Properties. And I'm going to view some more quick actions. 
One of those is something called a vignette, which makes a little dark ring around the image. If I click it, you'll see it put it on there. You can actually go here and open your camera raw, and here's vignette. So you can make the vignette darker or lighter, depending on what you want. I want to make it, you know, what is mine going to be? 79%, negative 79. So I'm going to say, okay. Then what you, all you have to do, if we flatten this, and we save it. See, now nothing's changed over here, but if I come here and I save this, then it affects and changes over here. So all of this gets vignetted down, which I like. It kind of really makes the, the bottles pop and the text a little easier to read. All right. So once you've done all this, you're going to flatten the entire image. And you're going to image size, oh, that was canvas size, image size. We're going to make it 800 pixels wide. And as long as 800, not 88, sorry, 800 pixels wide. And as long as you have this little bracket with the uh, link here, it's going to automatically adjust your height for you. Now, it doesn't matter what you say on resolution because 800 pixels is 800 pixels. So we just need it to be 800 pixels. And we're going to say OK. As you can see, it makes it a lot smaller. If you double click the hand, you can see it full frame. And then you're going to save this off as probably, you know, Mike Brown Composite. Still in all caps, but that's OK. But you'll, you'll, you'll put your name. And you'll you'll save that off, and then you're going to do a level eight JPEG, which just saves some space. Okay, and then if we look in our download folder, there's the Mike Brown composite image, uh, and you're able to upload that to Blackboard on the submission link. Okay, uh, reach out to me if you have any questions. Uh, hopefully, that's a pretty straightforward way to do it. But sometimes we have people have problems with the quick actions so if you need another way to do it if your quick actions aren't showing or just it's not working uh, let me know and I'll I'll send you another video